Hey y'all, it's American Mom. I forgot to show y'all this. I've had it for, well, when I said I was getting it, that's when I got it. But it's basically just the DVD set. So I haven't been spoiled in any way. The box, now the, the dragon, had I got this season one before I saw the dragon on Danny's shoulder. I still would have just thought about the eggs, like the symbolism, and Game of Thrones has like a dragon for a symbol. I still would have been like, yeah, there's no dragons. But having said that, we just saw a shadow demon baby last week, last time. This is season one DVD box. Gordon Head. You win or you die. True that. He was too nice. He was too nice and honorable. I'm just going to show y'all like. So there's five DVDs. Okay. And it's like, uh, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can't count. Uh, on each one, but then there's like bonus. The maps are on there. Um, little special features and things. And then the back, it doesn't say anything about like to each episode or anything on the back. There's no giveaways. I mean, there's nothing to spoil me, which is good. But I am going to go back and um, rewatch season one. I'm going to catch up first. I know. I've got till July 16th. I'm going to catch up, y'all. I'm going to. I'm gonna do it. Okay? So I had to show you all that and I'll leave that right there. Um, yeah, we left off last time with the demon shadow baby. I gotta say that thing again. Melisandre is, uh, she's a priestess. Yeah, but she's, a, she's something else. I don't know what that sperm and egg did. For her. I don't think it was Stannis. I'm like, what? Let me just get into the next episode, please. I can't wait. Okay, let's do this. Bring my terms to your son. I believe we are natural allies. I hope he feels the same. Together, we could end this war in a fortnight. What was that? Oh! <gasps> That's the baby. Oh! <gasps> it can kill you? Gone. Oh my gosh. Stannis did this. Stannis sent it. Oh, she's gonna be pissed. She's gonna be pissed. Oh my gosh, y'all. I said we'd see it again. I mean, you knew this, but I. <laughs> she saw it. Oh. We've got to leave. Yeah. They'll hang you for this. She didn't do anything. Okay. No. Oh. I won't leave him. You can't die. avenge him if you're dead. No. I want to be a queen. No. I want to be the queen. She and Thirsty are gonna have to go at it. Yeah? <laughs> so clever. Aren't you always so clever with your schemes and your plots? You're not. Schemes and plots are the same thing. They are going to attack us. We need to be ready. No need to concern yourself over it. King is taking personal charge of siege preparations. May I ask specifically what the king has in mind? You may specifically, or you may ask vaguely. The answer will be the same. I don't want to see him this episode. Sick of him. They have thousands of pots already stored in their vaults. They are planning to launch it from the city walls into Stannis's ships and armies. Please. When did she tell you this? I heard her talking with the pyromancer. And the other night, after I left her, she went to meet him. 
I swear to you. Swear to me on what? On my life. But I don't care about your life. In the light of the Seven, by all that is holy and right, I, Lancel Lannister, do solemnly oh, vow... All right, enough. Even torturing you is boring. Hmm? Just get out. It should have happened to me. Please kill me if anything should happen to Lord Tyrion. <laughs> it will be my pleasure. We set out for King's Landing without Lady Melisandre. And you lead the fleet into Blackwater Bay. Your Grace, I'm honored, but my time on the sea was spent evading ships. You're gonna leave her behind? Not attacking them. The other lords won't be happy. She won't be happy. Most of those lords should consider themselves lucky I don't hang them for treason. Hmm. Okay. Hard truths cut both ways, Sir Davos. Leave. You have to admire his imagination. Yeah, He's talking about you. Yeah. What? Demon he monkey. Said it. I think you're pulling the king's strings. They blame you for the city's ills. Blame me? Trying to save them. You don't need to convince me. Demon monkey. Demon monkey. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Seat of the House of Tallheart. More impressive prize than a few fishermen's daughter. What, you don't think we could take it? No, we could. We could never hold it for more than a few days. As soon as Winterfell got word that we'd taken Torrens Square, the Starks would send their men to take it back. And then we... Take me to my ship. I snuck into our own encampments, they would report growing discontent amongst the southern lords. This is war, no one's content. She's listening to everything that's going on. She's We've smart. underestimated the Stark boy for too long. He has a good mind for warfare, his men worship him. As long as he keeps winning battles, they'll keep believing he is king in the north. You've been waiting for him to fail. He is not going to fail. Not without our help. Does he know she's Arya? Because he's speaking really freely about the Starks. Him. We've worked through the night, my lord. Perhaps we'd profit from some sleep. I mean, I like Tywin, As I, I think. think you would, Reginald. Oh. And because you're my cousin, I might even let you wait. Speak three names. And the man will do the rest. Aww. Three lives I will give you. John no Free. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> I can name anyone. And you'll kill him. A man has said. The one who tortures everyone. A man needs a name. I, I don't know his name. They call him the Tipler. That is enough. He's like a genie giving her three wishes. Give me three names, I'll do it. Sure. Commanded us to do so. If our present count stands, at 7,811, enough to burn Stannis Baratheon's fleet and armies both. This is a shit idea. I'm afraid I have to concur with my advisor, Wisdom Halion. The contents of this room could lay King's Landing low. You won't be making wildfire for my sister any longer. You'll be making it for me. <laughs> okay. That's Dracarys. Dracarys. Eat the meat. <laughs> oh, he wants to cook it first. <laughs> he likes He'll be able to rare. feed himself from now on. Bless him. Let him sleep. Yes, Khaleesi. He loves you. Jealous? Should you grow tired of Saro's baubles and trinkets, it would be an honor to host you at the House of the Undying. You are always welcome, Mother of Dragons. 
How many of you are there? My apologies. Bad Pri is one of the 30. Yeah. It was customary for me to extend him an invitation. Customs. No one by following him into the earth. Renly's enemies are Rob's enemies as well. Join Rob's army. Go to Winterfell. I do not know your son, my lady. Not to? But I could serve you. See? If you would have me. Yes. You have courage. Not battle courage, perhaps, but I don't know. A woman's kind of courage. Yeah, you And I think that when the time comes, you will not hold me back. Promise me that you will not hold me back from Stannis. She's pledging her allegiance. She's very dramatic, isn't she? Then I am yours, my lady. Okay. I will shield your back and give my life for yours if it comes to that. I swear it by the old gods and the new. The old gods and the new. Y'all explain that to me. I vow that you shall always have a place in my home and at my table, and that I shall ask no service of you that might bring you dishonor. Oh, I swear so it by the old gods and the new. Oh. Okay, so what he killed was I a could wife. take up John's duties while he's gone, my lord. There'll be no trouble. Sam, I'm so happy. What are you doing getting yourself into? I hope you make a better ranger than you do a steward. I wanted to be a ranger to begin with. Enough to go home. All I have to do is marry me. <laughs> that was a romantic guy. proposal. This is really I've already married asked, once for love, but the gods stole her from me. I come from nothing. Yeah. My mother and father never owned a pair of shoes, but marry me and I will give you the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah. And our children will be princes and princesses. Alicia. Is he being a good advisor? Or is his emotions getting in the way? And he's saying, don't do it, you can do it on your own. Like, does he really mean that? Or is he just kind of, doesn't want her to marry him? Just talking out loud. The one she wanted to kill. There he is. You got two more wishes, Arya. Okay, so a lot of interesting things happening in this episode. A lot of developments. Tyrion is still just awesome uh, and funny. He keeps he keeps the um, the humor in this dark, bleak place. So Arya has made some sort of a a deal with um one of the men that she saved at the last place um when yorn had died she released them because their cage and around them was on fire and um i'm gonna translate she apparently gets three wishes <laughs> he just said name any three people and she was like anyone so she wanted that torturer guy that, you know, was doing the fire and then the rats would eat. Yeah, it's disgusting. Uh, she named him and there he is, dead. So what two other people are she going to pick? Um, don't tell me. I'm just saying that out loud. Uh, I'm glad we got to see more of Danny and um, Dragarius. Is that the name of her, of one of the dragons? I know, I know the three are named. Um, anyway, we got to see a little bit of the dragons. Um, he apparently likes his food cooked a little bit, a little bit medium rare. 
They're as cute as they can be, but they're going to get big, aren't they? I guess she's not going to accept, um, I don't remember his name right now. Everybody has like a name and a title and a, you know, um, he holds the key to this thing, this safe, but this is like his, he has a lot of pull and, and treasure. He proposed and was like, you know, he sees that she's a fighter and he married for love. So this one would be more of a, let's come together and we will have all seven kingdoms. He seemed like a nice guy. It's, um, usually people are doing this for more sinister reasons. So, but then she asked Jora, um, or he, yeah. Yeah, she must have brought it up because he was kind of complaining about it. Like, you know, what do you know of this person? I mean, he, so he cut his hand and let us in the gate, you know. Now he's we're just going to marry him so you can have ships and do this on your own. We just need one ship. But he still, I think he, he still loves her. I think his emotions are kind of getting in the way of um, giving her really good counsel. I don't know. Like, this is just me projecting what I think because you know the way he feels about her. And I think she does too because she got kind of uncomfortable. I don't, I mean, not in a bad way. Um, she, I mean, when he was just like talking to her, I mean, that was like very romantic. Um, and she just kind of like was like, okay, you know, I'll do as you advise, as my advisor. It was good. It was, it was a good episode. What the hell? I forgot about the beginning. How could I forget about the beginning? Killing. Like, it, it, okay. It was already windy outside, so I didn't think anything about it. And then the shadow, Demon Baby, which is like really tall. Like, it wasn't a baby. It was a human, like, man size. Um, it was like a man size demon baby. Came slithering up, and it knew to go right for him. To go right for Renly. And kill him. Like, right through the heart. Pulled out its finger, its um, shadow knife, whatever. And just disappeared. And Caitlin... And Brienne, they both saw it. I mean, they were just like, and it happened so fast. So now they're on the, Caitlin told her to, you know, get on the run. Um, and then she went with her. So that's good. And then I think she's going to join the North now. She's going to, she's going to become um, a, a part of Rob Stark's um, army. And she, I think she's looking to Caitlin as kind of a mother figure. That's going to develop nicely. Um, I'm trying to not love too many characters because I don't want them to lose their head. But I still love Tyrion. Joffrey can die at any moment. I'm glad I didn't get to see him this episode. He just, he just, he just kind of ruins. Like, when I see him and I do the reactions and I have to see his face, like, I'm just kind of like, for a whole, like, hour or two afterwards. He just pisses me off. He just starts my day off bad. Like when you're running late for work and you just can't seem to, and then it's like everything else kind of turns to shit. He just makes my day start off bad. I just want him, mm. But we didn't see him this episode, so I'm fine. I'm fine. This was good. This is a good episode. This is episode five. And I've already recorded episode six, so I will be getting on that immediately. Um, I will be doing, this is my new schedule. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Game of Thrones. And then at some point in time, on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I may do one on Saturday, one on Sunday. I may upload two on Sunday. It depends on how my weekend's going. But I'm going to do five a week. Knock on wood. i got to catch up. I've got to catch up. And I've, I've done the calendar out through July. 
16th and I've got to do that many to catch up. So I've got to do that. Um, thank y'all for watching with me once again and uh, until the next video and until the next time. Bye.